Hey there weavers, welcome back. This is Grace with Tangled Webs Weaving. I thought I would show you the sped up version of me finishing up the weave on my Tecate rug. Thank you to one of my viewers for telling me how to pronounce that word. I appreciate that. So go ahead and enjoy the music and watch the weaving. And there is some instruction towards the end of the video. Thanks and happy weaving.
Crafters, we are back in business. I uh, unwove all of the weft that I had put in incorrectly. Um, so now I will start on the correct sides, which is with the uh, Sandy Heather on the right and the Kiwi on the left. And that will give me this um, pattern. started just now I said that the Sandy Heather needed to be on the right and the Kiwi needed to be on the left and that's not technically true um, I could have kept them swapped but because I am right-handed I tend to consider my first pick to be from the right so it wouldn't have mattered if these had been swapped as long as I used the Kiwi for treadle number one. So I just wanted to clarify that. Consistency in weaving is not just a matter of the consistency in your feet, or if you're traveling, or um, you're weaving in general. The consistency is everything in what you're weaving. So if I consistently consider the right hand to be my first uh, pick, or my first treadle, then it makes it easier for me to know where I am in the pattern in case I get distracted, which I do a lot. color change. So the pattern has us weaving um, a little more of the 
uh, Sandy Heather, but there'll be a notch of the dark brown right here, which is kind of a cool effect. And we will do just like we have done before. Overlap, please. Again, the Sandy Heather is starting on shaft or on treadle one, so it's going to show up in the middle here. And the oregano is going to show up on the sides. Temple really is invaluable when you are uh, weaving rugs. Um, for some reason they just they tend to pull in a lot more, um, and getting a nice good edge uh, requires the temple.
So there we have it. That is uh, the Tech Cat rug completed weaving. And so now I will uh, do some tail trimming and well, I won't do that now because I'd like, I have a lot of work left. And, Wow, I must have really miscalculated when, actually no, I put on extra work. I do remember that. Uh, but it gives me the opportunity to do some playing with um, some different patterns, different techniques. Uh, I can't change the tie up, but I can, um, Try some different yarns on this work. So that's what I'm gonna do. That will be a different video though. So here is the final product of the Tech Tay rug. Turns out really nice. I like it. And we can turn it over for a different look. So I hope you enjoyed the video of me making this rug. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel so that you get notification of future videos. Thanks and happy weaving.